That's in 15 seconds. We have some of the fastest response standards in the country. That, of course, is a mean average. So on average, we get there on 60% of the occasions more quickly than the 5 minutes and 15 seconds. But of course, that means on 40% of the occasions, that takes us longer. I'll give you uh, probably the best will related example I can give you. If you live in Rainy Mayor, right, we're not going to get there in five minutes. It's going to take us longer. But if you live in Bergen Head, then we're most likely to get there within two or three minutes, if that makes sense. Everything depends on where the fire appliances are when the call comes in. So all things being equal, the fire engines are, are likely to be nearer the fire station than the extremes of the fire station area. It'd be very simplistic about this, but that's, that's, that's broadly the way it works out. So what the 10 minute response standard is for is, we have 28 fire engines now. Now, at any given time, we could have a number of incidents on the go, which may have one, two, or even three fire engines attending as part of what we call pre determined attendance. We have at least four fire engines during the day over at our training academy undertaking training for the crews of the undertaking training. So you can see very quickly the 28 fire engines we have in the best case scenario that can quickly be reduced down. We have a series of mobilisation trades, the first of which is at 17 pumps. I'll flip back to the, uh, this slide here, the 34 slide down side. MAC stands for the Mobilisation Communication Centre. That's our call handling and dispatch facility. And the mobilising officer will actively monitor the disposition of our fire appliances at all times, and if at any time the number of appliances deployed exceeds or falls below 17, they will immediately start to undertake mutual reinforcing moves from outside of the canopy, so using Cheshire, Lancashire and Greater, mm -hmm. Greater Manchester. We have appreciate that we only have had 10 fire engines available we would cover each of the 10 areas and we'd be able to get anywhere in Merseyside in 10 minutes. So that 10 minutes, just to make the, the point here, has, it's got nothing to do with us aspiring to take 10 minutes to get to an incident. That is the absolute de minimis level that we ever anticipate that we would need to be bared down to. And hopefully that's it's not too technical an explanation. The point I need to make is that not all of those 10 key stations are new or relatively new. Some of them are quite old. And on the will, two, two of our key stations, which is Upton and Bromden, they're both quite old stations, Bromden in particular. And we appreciate that Bromden is not in the best location because if you draw a 10 minute circle around Bromden, nearly half of that is calling the river medicine. But it still provides us good coverage back into the rest of the world around that unbelievable. In terms of our least worst options, then, we could change the crew in the stations. We could merge stations, we could crew stations, days only, or we could close stations. We don't have any other options at the moment. That is all that we can do to make the source of the This is potentially where I'll get a little technical here, so I will be, as I say, I will be as, um, as least technical as I'm able to as far as the, the explanations of the duty systems. LLAR stands for Low Level Activity and Risk. What that is, is on certain stations, for legacy reasons as much as anything, historically they've been crewed whole lot of guys by firefighters who were there. 24 hours a day. So it's four watches, red, white, blue, and green, two days, two nights, four days off, rotating between that same one and then green, green. So the station is always, always has people on duty. If we take, uh, give you Hasbro as an example. Hasbro is crewed low level of activity and risk. 
hash numbers are about 278, which is just as a very low number. The nearest station in Cheshire that has a call profile of the hash would be Fodgen. Fodgen was Fodgen was crewed on the retained GP system. That is firefighters who are available on the Malerita who have to respond in within five minutes of the call the following day is effectively the RP retained and they are available. The way we crew has got is we have whole time firefighters who there for 12 hours of the day. We then prevail onto this retained duty system of light. But in Frontier, they've got to live within five minutes of the station. That would be much too long for us because it would delay our response. So we provided accommodation separate from the station in Haswell from which they're able to stay on and we can respond pretty much immediately to any delay. That's all one level of activity in the rest. That does not save a great deal of posts. So if we wanted to avoid any station closures at all, we'd have to make 12 fire stations over to that GP system, 12 <coughs> to 26. And we already have four on that system already. So it would just be too many, it would just wouldn't be usable. On the retained, as I explained previously, there is a five minute delay in responding is this is people, members of the public, who are committing 120 hours of their time a week to wear an alerta to be available to be called in to respond to incidents. Assuming that I was able to recruit sufficient people to undertake that sort of cover, it takes 40 weeks to train the whole time take me a long, long time to train members of the public to be trained firefighters and to take the same skill level as their whole time counterparts. But they only have two hours a week available to them for skill maintenance. Our firefighters, the whole time firefighters, their firefighters have 10 times our amount. Assuming I could train people to do that, they could never maintain the competencies of their whole time counterparts, which is why I would not recommend that that's what we did. The other issue to consider is, to use a real example, if you were to make West Kirby say whole time, uh, retain, leave up to the whole time to key station, the whole time bumper up to would be on the foreground. Within the five minutes, it would take the West Kirby retain crew to turn in, thus negating the, the, the reason why we did it. Geographically, the county is very small, so we can, get, we can respond very quickly. Days of recurring enclosures, I don't need to speak to that in any great detail, I think that speaks for itself. You can through the station of the day, but clearly it will be <coughs> like we are busier in the day than we are in the night. But that is largely academic because the risk profile for light risk incidents remains the same throughout the day and the night. So, yes, you, you, you might be busier, but the risk of the incident still remains. Clearly, closures and speaks for itself. Station mergers, what that allows us to do is accepting that that, of course, is still a closure, and not suggesting for one second that there is anything other than a closure, because it is. You close two stations, but you would build one new station in the most optimal location to provide the best coverage. Far from ideal, but it was probably better than just arbitrarily shutting one station to leave the other. Okay, I'm not going to try and dress this up as anything other than that, but that is what it is. On the will, if you were to do that, in the first instance, you'd look at West Kirby and Heswell, and you would look somewhere in Breesby, would be the optimal location. That. that of course assumes you could get the land in the first instance. There's no guarantee that we'd be able to do that. <coughs> whilst we would we would sought assistance from partners within the council and, and clearly they would seek to try and work with us to do that, that's an RS. And there is no guarantees whatsoever that we could identify land that was suitable. But assuming we could. It would give us the opportunity to purpose build a new station to bring in our partners from Northwest Ambulance Service and potentially Merseyside Police. 
they give us a, a purpose built facility in the best location we can work in that's the machine that makes sense. That would also allow us to bid for capital funding from ECMG. Because as it stands, the only way we can attract capital based on the, the transformation fund and the efficiency fund over to the fire rescue service is we would have to make it bid. And, and I'm not going to pull any punches here, members, where the ET contest in that particular process. We would have to play a bid that compared more favorably than anything that the other four or five farm rescue services would have attempted to do. There's no guarantee we would get funding to do this. So in conclusion, in my professional view, mergers are more preferable than changes to GP systems Days on the train and drive by closures. But to be very clear, it still involves the closures of stations. It is two into one. I'm not trying to dress that up or, or suggest anything but the concept. Mergers are only realistically possible in St. Helens, Mosley, and here on the world. Not to say you couldn't do mergers in Liverpool, eight of the ten stations in Liverpool. On you. You would have to show the two old stations, Aintree and Allerton, one's in North Liverpool, one is in South Liverpool. It would be like trying to, to merge Wallace and Hesworth, it would just make no sense. That's all uh, that's all I can have to do. I'm not talking any great detail about the whole time of Tame Crew and the second bumps, but if I can very briefly cover that off now, what I would recommend is we have very much in the world context, Hutton, West Kirby, one fire engine of each, move to the station up at uh, Beasley, assuming you were able to do that, you'd have one whole time fire station. Couldn't keep the two because you, you don't make any savings and you need to use the people to make the savings. You understand that from what you've had to do within, within, the, within the council. So in order to keep the second fire engine, what I would, what I would do is the crew whole time crew of the first fire engine, the people that stood that were on that station, they would undertake a secondary retained contract. So on the days off, they would be available to crew the second fire engine, which would get us free from the issue around training and confidence and maintenance. But that wouldn't need to respond in five minutes because you've got a whole time fire engine there. It could respond in, say, in 30 minutes, which would effectively cover all of the world left. I need to make the point now, because I've done this in every other meeting, including that at Liverpool and the Sefton. The merger options are highly unlikely in Liverpool and the Sefton, therefore closures undoubtedly will result. Outright closures will result in Liverpool and, dare I say, if we get into the, the 20 million scenario of Sefton. I am not saying anything that I've not said in front of the councils in Liverpool and in the Sefton. I would suggest and was that the options for will are probably more less unpalatable than say the media and inside. Apologies, Chair, I may have already stopped the ten minutes of what they might be doing as an email transformation.
So, in terms of the it will increase the response times, like it's difficult to predict because the numbers are that low in terms of the incidents. But we anticipate that there could be a slight increase on both areas in terms of the average response. However, certain areas of, of those, certain areas within the combined station area would see a faster response, certain areas would see a longer response. It goes back to the five minutes 15 as the mean average, you have 60% of patients who are quicker than 40% of patients in the next one. I'm not trying to avoid the question. We believe that on average, that it would be five minutes 15, it would be probably in five minutes five or about 10 seconds. Say that it, well, it was nothing like what it was. But, uh, 
that we capture the notes and, and comments to form to go into part of the overall consultation as to why what we is taking place so we don't spend the other way but we pull out piece of it. So if there's any salient points that could make or comments to go into the overall consultation exercise we should. And this was a little bit of a, uh, an ask about future volume for funding.